Welcome back as the Fox Texas trio endeavors to unwind Senator Ted Cruz's barrage on Joe Biden and his opening shots at fall opponent Congressman Colin Allred. Rudy, fairly predictable line of attack there. Three years of Biden chaos on the border and labeling Allred a left winger posing as a moderate. Your thoughts? Yeah, you know, I thought I was listening uh, not to Senator Ted Cruz, but uh, listening to uh, the best of Hulk Hogan, a Cruz maniac, just right before the start of a cage match, right? A lot of brash talk there, a lot of bravado there, brother. And uh, we're going to hear a lot more as this summer campaign heats up, which is why my word, Greg, was WrestleMania. All right, Stephen, our friend uh, Professor Mark Jones says this Texas Senate race may be the Democrats' best chance at playing offense and actually picking up a Senate seat. So Allred may well get some serious national money. Now that said, he's got serious humps to get over. Biden at the top of the ticket, a border crisis most Texans blame on Democrats, and an opponent who's been here before and won. Allred is going to get the money. That That's no question. That's going to happen. The Democratic Party is going to send everything here to Texas. Not saying that they wholeheartedly believe that they can flip this, uh, that they will flip the state, but they're going to try. Allred does have an uphill battle. We already know it's been well publicized. The Democrat has not won statewide in Texas for about two decades. But if you look on paper, Allred is definitely not Beto. He's definitely more in the middle and can appeal to independents or just some Republicans who are frustrated with Ted Cruz in office. All right, Rudy, early polls have this Senate race as a legit battleground contest. If you are Cruz, do you stick with the fundamentals, border taxes and oil patch, or does he have to do more to hold the seat? Yeah, Greg, uh, first let me talk uh, about what Stephen just said. I think the Democrats are going to pump a lot of money here into Texas, but after a while, later on in the summer, I think they're going to pull back because they've got a lot of other serious races, some incumbent seats in the Senate that they're going to have to fund and will probably end up abandoning all red. With that said, the polling in this race is a lot like riding an old Astro World roller coaster. You know, short runs, quick ups, quick downs. You know, earlier this year, poll had this race tied. Then a survey came out showing Cruz with a big lead. Then another poll came out, another tie, nodding it all up. So I'm here that this race is not going to be a cruise control campaign. The senator is going to bring a big dump truck. Sure, he's going to blast all red for pushing that Trojan horse Senate border plan, which was nothing more than what he called normalizing the Biden open border policy. But the cruise plan is going to be attacking, uh, including uh, all reds linking him to uh, his voting record to Nancy Pelosi when she controlled the House, ripping up the State of the Union speeches, advocating for gun control, orchestrating the Trump Russian hoax impeachment hearings. Also, I'm hearing Cruz will take the issue, take on that issue that the Democrats believe is the GOP kryptonite, abortion. He's going to portray Allred's position on abortion as extreme, even though Allred's current campaign ads are somewhat pushing a moderate tone. All right, Stephen, what do you make of the senator's lukewarm at best reception of fellow Texan John Cornyn's bid to be Republican leader? You didn't out, expect him to outright just full-throated give an endorsement to John Cornyn, right? Um, he, he's playing politics. He's playing it the way you would expect uh, Ted Cruz to do. I don't believe that John Cornyn will win the majority leader if they take the majority. Um, but I think Cruz is playing it even killed right now. All right, Rudy, can't wait to hear your thoughts. Is there any chance <laughs> Cruz backs Cornyn? I agree with Stephen. I think the Senator Cornyn is a logical choice, but he's also being attacked as a rhino by Trump supporters who I believe will undermine his chances the same way that the Tea Party crowd went after Rick Perry's presidential bid several years ago. Remember that? I wouldn't be just surprised to see names pop up like Tom Cotton, even that old football coach, Tommy Tuberville, who causes so much trouble lately in the Senate, overshadowing Senator Cornyn in his bid for leadership. Greg? All right, we have a little extra time here. Uh, I'm going to ask you this, Stephen. What's the wild card in this race? Man, the, the wild card is something maybe happening at the top of the ticket. Uh, if, if Donald Trump, if there's a trial before Election Day, I think something extreme has to happen to totally turn this race upside down. Ten seconds, Rudy. The economy. Good answer. Let's leave it there. You can see the interview or any of our past interviews by going to our YouTube pages.
You can also visit our social media sites to continue this conversation. Next week, we talk to the man who is trying to unseat incumbent Senator Ted Cruz, Dallas Representative Colin Allred. We'll hear his take when you join us next week. And remember to let us know what you think the issue is.